Hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I am back out uh, doing some more landscape photography. I've just pulled in uh, right now and I'm about to get out here. Uh, but before I do that, I did want to kind of give this a little bit of an introduction. Um, uh, the first thing that I want to say is that uh, the weather is just really not cooperating with me for photography lately. And so, to be honest, the conditions that we have today are not very good. Um, the light is very bright, which is not what I was expecting at all. It was supposed to be cloudy today, um, but it's actually gotten very bright out here. And uh, so I'm not sure if that's really going to work out that well for me. Um, but I did want to just go ahead and come out and do some photography today anyways, because I've been waiting for a long time on the weather to be nice. And uh, so at least today it's not, uh, you know, pouring down rain. Um, so with that said, uh, I'm going to jump out here, put all my stuff together and uh, head out into this park. This is like a scenic river preserve, so I'm hoping I can kind of go down next to the river here and get some pictures by the water. I always love having some water in my pictures. One final note, it is very windy today as well. I don't know if you'll hear that, um, but there's a lot of wind, so if you do hear that, I apologize. All right, so I'm gonna get my stuff and let's get out in the woods and explore. Alright you guys, well I had to uh, really almost crawl through the woods a little bit to get out here, but uh, there was a little bit of a path of sorts uh, to this river, and so now I have found it. Uh, so I'm going to try to set up some stuff and do a little bit of photography out here by the water. Just kind of picking my way through this. Uh, grass and foliage on the ground, trying not to trample everything or step on any poison ivy or anything like that. So, I'm gonna work my way down here. Now, straight away, uh, I am kind of interested in that area uh, down there where the uh, the logs are kind of across the creek there and you got kind of these trees coming over I think that's kind of interesting looking um, but uh, kind of up here around the edge there's a lot of foliage on the ground and then it goes straight into the water there's not really any rocks for me to step out on um, and so I'm not exactly certain how to get the best shot of that I could just set up right here but there's a lot of this foliage in the foreground that I'm not entirely certain that I like. Uh, so I'm just going to work my way around a little bit and try to find some place that I think could make a nice shot of that or of one of the other things that are around here. Uh, 
I do kind of like this foliage as a foreground, but I don't want to have massive amounts of it in there um, as well. And then there's nothing really to step off of into the water here. So it's just kind of going to be a matter of me exploring around for a few minutes and trying to figure out what the best vantage point might be for my subject. Uh, which is something that you'll find yourself doing a lot in landscape photography is picking out something you want a picture of and then wandering around for a while trying to figure out how to get a picture of it and potentially sometimes even giving up on things entirely just because you know you can't move the nature and so uh, you, you just have to figure out a, a way to get a good shot with what you have. So I've just got the camera out now, and I'm going to walk around, look through it a little bit, try to find a nice shot. actually come up with a spot that I think is going to work for the photo that I want to get here. Um, so I've gotten the tripod out and set up the camera. Um, and there's a fair amount of wind right here uh, so I probably will not try for a long exposure even though I would like to because it's gonna make these leaves look very blurry. Um, but I do like to just get out the tripod when I can anyways. Um, I have plenty of time for this shot and that'll make sure that nothing is wiggling around in the camera at least, uh, even though everything is moving with the wind the way that it is. The light right now is being surprisingly cooperative, I think. Um, there's some clouds that are moving across the sky, um, and it's kind of uh, making the light change a little bit, um, so that gives me more opportunities to grab a quick photo while I think that it looks really good. Uh, so basically what happens now is I will just be a little bit patient um, and, and try to get this shot. So because of how much wind there is today, I'm actually going to set my ISO a little bit higher than I would like. Um, so I'm going to go with ISO 400. That lets me put my shutter speed at 160. Hopefully that will avoid any sort of blurring where there's these leaves uh, blowing around in the trees. Um, hopefully keep the picture looking nice and crisp, but the potential risk of a little bit more noise, particularly from this camera that um, is older and not very expensive and prone to having noise in your photos anyway. Now this photo shoot is uh, a little bit special as it is uh, potentially the last photo shoot that I will do with just this camera. This is my Nikon D3100 that I have had since I was in high school and uh, I have actually ordered a new camera now that could be here as soon as tomorrow, uh, which I am very excited about. And so uh, hopefully by the time that I come out and do another photo shoot, I will actually have that new camera and uh, be able to get some better pictures and some pictures a little bit easier with that. So I'm, I'm very excited about that, but it is slightly bittersweet as well just because it's the end of an era with uh, this camera that was, you know, the first camera that I bought for myself and uh, despite not being very expensive, it has <laughs> served me very well. It's helped me to learn all of the basics of photography and to get a really good understanding of things. I've been able to take, you know, every kind of picture that this camera can take and figure out how to make it take a few pictures that it really wasn't supposed to. And so. Uh, 
so it's it served me very well uh, but today may be the last time that uh, it's my only option at least I'll probably still get it out in the future you know just to uh, have some fun and uh, reminisce about it but I do have a new camera on the way and so I'm excited and looking forward to that but uh, you know today is sort of noteworthy for that reason All right, well, I've captured a few photos here. Uh, unfortunately, the light is just still really not cooperating with me today. <laughs> like I said earlier, the weather has just uh, not really been my friend for photography lately. Um, so I was hoping to get a little bit of sun to come through on the subject here, but I've been here a few minutes and it just doesn't really seem to be happening. Um, and so, I'm not actually going anywhere because I've spotted another subject here that I really like and so I'm actually going to turn the camera and try to get a picture of that and um, perhaps some sun will come back and I can get uh, some pictures of this but um, thought a bug was biting me but uh, yeah so I'm going to change my lens turn the camera and get a different shot piece of advice for you guys uh, as you may be out doing your own landscape photography is uh, always try to take a look around you as well when you're you know focused on a shot. I was really focused on this picture right here and just slightly to the left of that is um, another image that I think will be really interesting if I just switch my lenses and take it from this exact same spot. Um, so <laughs> don't get completely locked in on one subject and forget to check around and see if there's anything else. All right. The uh, lens that I'm using for this is this 55 to 200 millimeter kit lens that came with this camera. Uh, so it's kind of a nice, uh, you know, last last full photo shoot with the camera sort of a thing to pull out this kit lens and uh, use it for a shot here. This is actually a pretty good lens, um, but the new camera that I've purchased does have a lens that will uh, largely replace this one as well. And so, uh, kind of a fun experience. Now, to make this uh, lens swap here, I'm using the, uh, the flip side feature of this bag. And uh, that's a very handy feature just to not have to sit it on the ground. Let me just show you guys the shot that I've got here um, so you can kind of see it on the screen and what I've done is I've just picked out this area right up here and as you can see there's a lot of foliage in the foreground uh, which makes kind of a nice foreground element and then there's trees that arch over the top there and then farther down uh, beyond that there's a bunch of logs kind of on the ground there and so the, uh, the thinking here is that the foreground and the arching trees and then kind of the continued trees behind them provide a nice sense of depth to this photo. All right, you guys, well, I think it is time for me to go. It's been a lovely morning out here in nature. Uh, I've got nature all over me and I've been eaten by a little bit of the nature and so uh, I'm gonna try to <laughs> clean up as best I can and head back home. Um, I will of course 
edit the photos that I've taken and put them up on the screen for you guys. Um, as well as I will have another video where I show you uh, a little bit of the editing process of these photos. I don't think there's going to be any complicated edits, but I think maybe I will uh, kind of go through the basics with you guys of um, some stuff that you'll want to apply to most of the photographs that you take. Uh, so that is going to be all for this video. Uh, as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.